with Rappel Claire to make a space to pray. Muslim Palestinians in Rafah hold Eid prayers next to the ruins of Al Farouk Mosque. Its minaret is the only part that survives an Israeli bombing. Eid al Fitr is supposed to be time of celebration after a month of down to dusk fasting. Last Eid, I had a home and my children were joyful playing around me. This Eid is filled with grief, agony, and sadness. My home was destroyed and I lost many loved ones. In addition, I'm injured and cannot move. I'm no longer able to bring joy to those around me. These boys' as families have managed to find their new clothes to mark the day. But for most Palestinians in Gaza, you will get through Eid like any other day in recent months, just trying to find enough food and water to survive. Israel says it's moving more aid in after international pressure. But the United Nations says it's still less than the bare minimum required to meet humanitarian needs. This Eid has come with deep pain. Instead of gathering with loved ones, we will sit and mourn them. I lost my father, my brother and all my uncles. Eid is also a time to remember those who have died. In Gaza, everyone knows someone killed in the past six months. When I think about last Eid, it was the best one of my life because my son was beside me, in my arms. I did everything he wanted. I wish he was here with me. He would go to the mosque in the morning and say to me, prepare my present for when I return. Now he's gone. Everything good about my life is gone. And the war is not over. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that he has set dates for a major ground offensive here in Rafah. It's the last large refuge where one and a half million displaced Palestinians are sheltering here. Tariq Abazoum, Al Jazeera, Rafah, Southern Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.